no, I can't, I can't take the sun. <laughs> I've got to move. Hang on. I moved. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with an update. I have some changes in my plans and right now I'm just, you know, I just don't know if I'm ever doing the right thing and I know people say, well, you know, do what feels right. Nothing feels right to me right now. Not at all. I'm just a basket case. I'm a mess. I was going to Memphis on Sunday and all I could think is like, when will that ever just get here so I can at least have a change of scenery? I just feel like, you know, being on the plane will just, I don't know, transport me to something better. So I called Derek and asked him if he minded if I come like right away. I had thought about that a couple of days ago, but I didn't want to make you know, any quick choices. I didn't want to like, you know, just, I didn't, I just wanted to wait it out a little bit. But today I was thinking, you know, I would just like to go. And the thing is, is he has a gig somewhere. Uh, it's another state and it's like a five hour drive. And I can't remember where, I don't even care. And he was actually taking the kids out with him this time, Skylar and her brother. And when I knew that, I had uh, already booked my flight, and I was like, gee, I wish I would have known that in the way, you know, maybe I would have come earlier, but I, you know, I really couldn't. My mother was here. I couldn't, like, extend my trip that long, and then I was like, do I really want to go on a road trip? You know, it just, nothing really seems good to me because I don't like change in my life at all. But now, where my life has been changed and just completely turned upside down, I really don't care what I do because no matter what, if I stay home and stay put, I mean, part of me would have liked to have just even canceled my Memphis trip. And I think most people would say, but no, you'll be with your son and granddaughter. It's just hard. I just don't feel like I want to be anywhere right now. And I almost feel safer just being all alone at home, but yet I feel sick and I can't work. And if I can't work, that's my norm. If I feel like I can't, you know, do my videos and do things and sew and, you know, and if I feel like that lost and I feel like I can't even be productive because that's where my sanity comes from is my work. If that becomes unstable, then it's like I'm grasping for anything to try to keep my life in order. I'm figuring, you know, I don't think that I'm going to feel like doing content right now. You know, I'm certainly not doing a tag along. I don't even have anybody to shop for at this point, you know, so it's like, I just am so confused that I thought, let's just at least change the scenery, take a chance. You know, I hate to spend money. I hate to spend money so much. Money is like a game to me. And it's, you know, some people will collect stamps or coins. I collect dollars in the bank. And I, you know, I want everything that I spend to either benefit my son or my granddaughter in a tangible way. I know having me on a trip, I don't think that that's like the biggest joy in Derek's life that he's going to be in the car with his mother. You know, <laughs> then I did ask him, you know, is this going to ruin the trip you were planning with the kids? And I'm like, I promise I won't talk the whole way. Oh my God. I hope I can keep that promise. I really do. I don't want to drive him insane. So I'm going, you know, he wants me to, he knows I'm struggling right now. You know, he feels worried about me. I think he'll feel happier that I'm at least there and I will be happy to be with them. I just can't imagine feeling happiness. Let's just say this much. I won't be any worse off than I am. I'm sure I won't. So maybe I'll at least find, you know, a way to breathe and relax. And I will be going on a road trip with Derek and the kids and huh, I, you know, I just, I, oh my God, this is so weird. I don't know if Skylar has ever seen him play in a venue like that. I know she's seen him play and obviously rehearse, but I'll be taking my kids to the bar. You know, I don't even know if it's a casino he's playing at or whatever, but, you know, I'll be able to hang a little bit and experience that. I just hope I'm not sick to my stomach the whole time because it's hard to do things when you just want to curl up and cry the whole time. So I don't know. I don't know. So I'm leaving in the morning. I'm leaving at 5 a.m. is my flight. <laughs> oh, oh. But you know what? 
Again, I don't care. I might not even go to bed. I will probably leave my house around 2 a.m. And I'm just going to get there. I'm just going to get there, get myself on a plane. And it's like, I, ugh. And then we needed, you know, a vehicle. So I'm renting a minivan. I mean, it's like, I, you know, this is just not like me at all. This trip went from like a $200 cost uh, with my Southwest airline points, you know, because I booked it when the flights were cheap and now it's costing me with everything and the additional parking. It's costing me close to $2,000. That, that's shocking for this girl. It's like, huh? But I'm doing it. Maybe if I do it every now and then it'll start to feel better. No, it won't. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I don't know what else to do. I just don't. I'm lost. So, I wanted to let you guys know that, and I don't know if I'll record anything later. It's possible. Right now, I'm doing laundry, get, you know, just getting ready, packing, getting ready to go. And I will record tomorrow during my trip, but, um, yeah, and I should have time at some point, I would imagine, tomorrow night or whatever, to upload that. So I'm going to try very hard to let you guys hear from me tomorrow. You may hear from me again tonight. You know, I would like to think so. But I just wanted to tell you what I'm doing. I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. And I just hope that I don't regret this for some reason. I hope I don't get there and say, what the fuck did I do? I can't imagine that happening. Why can't I just enjoy stuff. I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy things. I don't know why. I think it's because I never really saw that as something that anybody would like to do. I don't know. But I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna do it. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.